Hey y'all, what's good, what's good, what's good? You know, you know. <clears throat> All right, let's get this shit popping. My name is Dion. I am a S1, no longer a J2, baby. Check it. S1, senior season, 11 months, 10 days, and like 18 hours, something like that. Yes, I'm counting down because the struggle has been real. This video is... This video is how expensive is nursing school? The answer, very expensive. And I'm going to break it down for y'all. Literally, I've got the screenshot the document of everything that we had to pay for right here so let's get it popping first thing uh that you are going to have to purchase when you get into nursing school are your scrubs and things that you have to wear to clinical or anything that you're doing for the school of nursing so i got a white coat doesn't have my name or anything on it but um it does have a georgia southern patch uh, that says Georgia Southern University School of Nursing. This is a navy blue polo. It has Georgia Southern University on it. School of Nursing. Also, two sets of white scrubs. So, here are the pants. Here are the pants. Literally basic white scrubs. Got some bell bottom type thing going on down here yeah uh they recommend wearing uh shorts underneath because these are very see-through like very see-through especially when you're in the hospital and those fluorescent lights say that my school has a very 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 strict dress code so i'm always on my toes or i try to be about how i look especially when i'm going to clinical on the side we have the same patch um, on my white coat, the Georgia Southern University and School of Nursing on the arm. Uh, blue little things on the sleeves. And uh, this is see-through as well. So obviously you want to wear a shirt or something underneath. But those are what my scrubs look like. Here's a picture of me in them. Jeez. Um, $42 per set. Now... So um, I am president of Black Student Nursing Association at Georgia Southern and we always, every time we have seniors graduating, we always ask them to like, you know, hand down some of the uh, scrubs because these are very expensive. $42 per set? Yeah. So we do have a hand-me-down system for uh, students that would rather just get another student's old pair rather than pay for their own out of pocket. Because $42 per set, girl, the scrubs better be. These are my white nursing shoes, Skechers, five stars, highly recommend. Um, I know it. people don't, I've seen people wear all types of shoes and they don't really say anything unless, as long as they're white, it doesn't matter. So I've seen people with Reeboks, uh, Converse, Vans, it doesn't matter as long as they're all white. Now, I would definitely recommend Skechers or another shoe that is very comfortable because, mind you, you're going to be in clinical from 8 to 12 hours, roughly. My shoes, they were, I want to say $50 and then might have been like 40 something uh, because I think there was a sale going on, like 10% off. So, my shoes were about $40 to $50, something around there. Socks. I got a 12 pack from TJ Maxx and those are the, literally, those are my clinical socks. Like they're all in one bag in one part of my closet. Those are the socks that I only use for clinical, nothing else. So in clinical, we are not allowed to have Apple watches, smart watches or anything like that. We have to have a basic, we have to have an analog basic watch, nothing fancy, nothing smart. A basic watch. Uh, I got this from Walmart literally like 20 minutes before class. It was the only one left. So I just grabbed it. This is my name tag. 
my GSU nursing student name tag. I have two. I'm still on the first two that I ordered when I first started nursing school. I know a lot of people have had to go back and order some because you know they get lost or broken, messed up or whatever the case may be. But you know, <laughs> you yeah. know. On this, because I have two jobs, I work at an urgent care and then I also work at the hospital in the NICU. So I have all of my name tags just on one reel. So these are the bandage scissors that they wanted us to purchase. These literally brand new have never been used. I bought them for no reason. Then I have my pen light. Freeze buster. School definitely invest in some good highlighters, pens, and markers because you're gonna be taking a lot of notes. And it is good for when you're taking notes to do it in like by color. Like I put important stuff in red or I highlight stuff that I need to remember in yellow. Uh, I usually write in the color blue. I don't I don't know why. I just really like blue pens. Here's my stethoscope. Um, it is a Litman. A lot of people get their stethoscopes gifted to them like when they're first starting nursing school. I bought mine used um, off of a website and I just cleaned it, sanitized it really good because it was only like $30, I think. And the ones that I was seeing online were like 70 and homegirl didn't have that money. So yeah. This is my nursing clipboard. It is very small and convenient. It fits right into my scrub pocket. I love it. Um, it's got handy dandy things on the back like uh, vital signs, normal labs like your sodium, electrolytes and all that, conversions, uh, a pain scale, temperature, Fahrenheit to Celsius conversions, height and weight conversions, a QRS complex, um, injection sites, you know, the ventral gluteal, deltoid, fastus lateralis, dorsal gluteal, all those things. Hope you guys can see that. Um, I got this in a bundle of things, actually. It was about $15, I think, individually on Amazon. So I would definitely recommend looking on Amazon for bundles of things. That'll come with like your scissors, pen light, your clipboard, badge things, and badge reels, and other things like that. Bundle, 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 because that's, the, that's how you'll save the most money. HESI testing! Oh, we love the HESI. So we spend $245 every semester. Basically, we're paying to take this exam that we all fail. I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. It's very difficult to prepare for it. It's either you know it or you don't. And it hurt like really, really bad when I was first taking my HESIs after getting to the nursing program because I was failing these things and I was not knowing why but weird it made me feel better once like i knew all my classmates were failing hesse's are 245 dollars a semester i don't understand why we're paying to take these tests and they have nothing to do with what we're learning i don't understand why we're spending 245 dollars to take a test that we all fail and they're five percent of our grade both of them hesse one and hesse two so uh, for mental health, I had a HESI 1 and a HESI 2. For adult health, I had a HESI 1 and a HESI 2. All of them are 5% of your grade, so it ends up being 10% of your grade. Graduation fee! Uh -huh, Y'all, I'm going to be coming up on that. So that's $50 my senior two semester, which will be next semester because right now I'm an S1. And then my RN licensure and GBON, that's gonna be $240 my senior two semester as well, which brings us to a whopping $1,771. That, and that doesn't even include like textbooks, health insurance, um, and other things that you gotta pay for. So just my job, this is the first half. So we also have to pay for health and immunization records. So a complete physical, uh, if you have insurance, obviously go through your insurance because it'll be cheaper. But if you're doing it out of pocket, these things are going to cost you a little bit. So we have to have a complete physical, a flu shot, hepatitis B, rubella, a PPD, a CPR certification. Mine was $55. I got certified by ATL CPR because 
I'm from Atlanta, so I got certified over the summer before I started the program. And I wanna say it ran me about $50. Here is my BLS provider card. Basic life support, so I am BLS certified. So liability insurance, that is also something that we have to pay for every semester. It's $17. Georgia Southern offers us insurance if we don't have it ourselves. And it's $2,025 once a year. So we always make sure that we put in our own insurance information because if you don't, they will charge you that $2,000 on top of your tuition and you will have to pay that. Background check and urine screen, a drug test, $75 one time a year. Now we're gonna get into the juicy, juicy stuff that y'all wanna know. How much does your textbooks cost? Y'all finna find out. And you gonna wish that you didn't. All right, so my J1 semester textbooks were $1,575. I kid you not. Um, It came, oh, here are some of the books. Super, super heavy. Uh, So you got your nursing diagnosis handbook so this is the book that you're going to use when you're making nursing diagnoses pharmacology it's my farm books got a ton of information on all the different kinds of drugs since the beginning of time calculating with confidence is a good book to use to practice before your med cal test every before the start of every semester, we have to take a MedCal test to make sure that we can still make accurate conversions and whatever, uh, making sure that we can draw up correct doses for when we're administering medication because that is something that we do when we're in clinical. And helpful tidbits that'll help you pass your MedCal test. I also recommend um, Sarah, registered nurse RN. She's great. Her practice quizzes were amazing, 10 out of 10. Uh, this book... Ooh, the biggest one yet I have not used yet we will start using this next well this upcoming semester because this is my women's health OB um clinical so you know we're gonna be with labor and delivery mother baby NICU stuff like that so this book is going to come into play now so J1 was $1,575 J2 was $730 S1 is going to be $532 and S2 will be $370 for an estimated cost of $3,207. I don't understand why we have to purchase these books and our teachers don't use them. My mental health professor, she, the entire semester, she literally said that she hates the book. She hates the textbook. So what your school does, they sign these contracts with these companies, textbook companies, and we're forced to buy them because of the contracts that they sign, even if we don't use the books. Now let's talk about tuition. So my actual tuition for the spring semester is $2,367. Now, but my total, my total that I'm being charged is $5,003. So we have extra fees, well, a whole lot of fees that will hike up the cost of um, our total tuition. So we have course fees, nursing labs, $35, a health fee, transit fee for like the bus. So the athletic fee, that's $214. My in-state undergrad tuition is $2,367. Then my institutional fee is $290. The environmental sustainability fee, that's $10. RAC fees, that's $149. Technology fee, that's $100. So like to use the computers on campus, print and all that. Student activity fees, so those are things that the school will do like uh, for homecoming or like if they bring like an artist like Young Nudie or something like that. Uh, the athletic facility fee, that's $44. My total charge is $5,000 and three cents. Um, my total anticipated credits, that's $1,404, leaving my term balance to $3,599.69. I also wanted to talk to y'all about travel considerations. So 
My school, Georgia Southern, is in Statesboro, which is literally the middle of nowhere. So all of our clinical um, setting, all of our clinical sites are at least 45 minutes away from here. Most of the time we're going to Savannah, which is an hour away. As you plan ahead, please keep in mind that you will be traveling to and from clinical sites two to three times a week, depending on the course. Savannah clinical sites are about 65 miles from the Statesboro campus, which comes up to about 5,400 miles. They don't care if you don't have a car or not. If you can't get to clinical, then that's your fault. They also don't reimburse you for gas. They don't have like a shuttle system or like a bus that we can all take to go to clinical, which I think would be something wise to invest in. But of course not. You got to think about gas money. So my car is good. I have a little Nissan, so it's good on gas. But let's say that you're driving a big old Tahoe truck and it takes like $60 to fill up. Driving to and from Savannah two to three times a week, that is literally $120 that you're about to be spending extra a month for gas, depending on how much that you're driving. But just for clinical alone, gas is going to cost you a check. I also do recommend making friends. Don't be no shy. Hey, hi. Hey, girl. Where's your, what, what clinical site you going to? Are you going to? Oh, okay. I'm going there too. You want a carpool? Yeah, I could drive Monday, you drive Wednesday, Friday, and then, you know, we'll alternate, we'll alternate. Yeah, girl, yeah. That's the type of energy, that's the kind of energy that you need. Don't be shy, don't be scared, don't be that type of person where you think you're going to thug it out all by yourself. No, baby, you can't do that. Nursing school, you need friends, you need people, you need to communicate, network, and build relationships with people. Because that is how you're going to survive. You're not going to be able to do it on your own. I promise. I I'm not lying to you here. I, I promise. I I'm talking to you from experience. I have been the only black girl in my clinical group, which makes me want to drive by myself. So I can't always say that I'm the most social outgoing. I would definitely feel more comfortable if there were other minorities that I could reach out to to ride with together. But I also will say that you have to beware of who you are. I am a young black woman in the deep, deep, deep South. So I always be mindful. I try to be mindful as I can. You know, I can kind of feel out a vibe of certain people, you know, who talk to me, who won't talk to me, who looking at me stank, who looking at me up and down. Especially for a young black woman like myself, I face a lot more challenges than I do that. I, I face more challenges myself than I can say my other white counterparts face. I definitely do feel a lot of discrimination, racism, not just from other students in my cohort but from the professors as well luckily my experience these past few months have been a lot better than when i first got into the program because it was really really bad find people that you can ride with who are nice then good for you kudos to you but it doesn't always work out that way so if you have to ride by yourself don't feel bad for it i did i kind of felt like dang i gotta wake up four o'clock in the morning drive an hour by myself in the dark not knowing where I'm going two to three times a week it, it definitely sucked definitely sucked but it's okay it's okay baby because at the end of the day we're here for that degree thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching another one of my videos it means the world to me and I really hope that y'all know that it really does like the little comments and stuff that y'all leave it makes me feel nice. It makes me feel good. Like when you guys uh, follow me on socials and you're asking me questions like, hey, how do I do this? Or, hey, what's your advice? Or what's your take on this? I love that. And I want you guys to keep doing it more. Be engaging. Comment. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you want to hear. Boom, boom, boom. You know, I'm here to help. And I can't help if no one's talking to me. So comment, like, subscribe, you know, do all that. You know. All right. And that's it for this video. And I'm going to check y'all out next time.